Hello and welcome. I am the creator of Palantype.com, where you find a stenographic system for the German language. In order to understand what it is, I made this video for you to understand what this is all about. Steno stenography in general is about typing fast, really fast. Uh, professional stenographers reach speeds between 200 and 300 words, 300 words per minute, which is fast enough to type along as people speak. With regular serial typing on your QWERTY layout, uh, with a lot of practice, you reach about 80 words per minute, right? So the, there you see the difference. Before I heard about uh, modern stenography and that there is actually a scene and people doing this, I was just trying to transcribe a podcast, right? I had a lot of text, um, spoken, uh, conversation, um, not easily transcribed, and I was looking for a way to, to get text. Of course, there are automated transcripts and there are services that offer basically what they call uh, artificial intelligence to, to transcribe your text, right? And these uh, algorithms are getting better by the minute and they are already amazing. If I think uh, people in a, in a natural conversation talking, uh, overlapping each other and so on, and the um, algorithm is able to discern this, who is speaking, this is great. However, at the same time, they sprinkle your text with ridiculous mistakes when sometimes the algorithm just isn't perfect. And I was so annoyed by that that I thought there must be a better way, right? I don't want to pay for a service to get a transcript that I then have to search for errors. Um, doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem uh, suitable for me. Maybe it's a matter of taste. My goal anyway is to transcribe a podcast episode of one or two hours in one pass. Even if I have to uh, slow down a little bit the speed of the podcast, if I'm able to transcribe the podcast in one pass and have a formatted text, I'm happy. Also, well, uh, just the idea of being able to type that fast was inspiring me. Probably an important fact uh, worth mentioning. I thought there must be a way, right, to type faster. Uh, this is how I found the Open Steno project and their software Plava. Uh, here you can see how it looks like uh, when someone uses modern stenography in action and actually types along as they speak, which is an amazing feat, in my opinion. Um, to understand what, what's going on, uh, let me explain real quick the origins of Steno. Uh, it all starts with just uh, the skill of a rapid handwriting, um, where long words get shortened and uh, briefs are created systematically. I always picture some assistant sitting in a court and depending on what the court case is about, there might be very long words that occur uh, very often and the stenographer doesn't even have to be prepared for that. They just can make up a brief on the fly, basically adding additional briefs to the gibberish that they create, the steno code. And then after the, everything is over, someone has to sit down and translate the steno code to real text again, right? Uh, at some point along the way, someone invented a stenographic machine, which is basically a typewriter optimized for stenography and this is why uh, you saw this weird looking uh, keyboard which isn't really a keyboard in that video. Uh, this is inspired by early steno machines and now a uh, computer and software comes into play. Uh, so you, of course the software can translate the steno codes that, uh, that you can't read and that don't make sense by themselves into the real text in real time right at, um, right at the moment where you're actually uh, typing. Um, before the Open Steno project came about, uh, the scene was quite closed and proprietary. So that means you do not, do not only have to pay a lot to get your hands on the hardware to get started, but also to uh, get courses and, and learn how to become real quick. Thanks to the Open Steno project, there is now open source software and a lot of documentation to get started. That basically means uh, I'm all set, I bought a steel machine and I went off the, the rails to uh, type as fast as I want. Not so simple. Well, if, you are, if your goal is to type English steno, you know, there's no problem. You really just try and find a, a steno machine at a good price, download the software from the Open Steno project and you're good to go, right? I always felt the steno machine is a little bit awkward. Uh, why not just use a keyboard with the same idea behind uh, stenography? And uh, this uh, idea that I had to buy some, some specialized hardware steno machine discouraged me. Maybe for the wrong reason, because they are not that expensive anymore. But more importantly, there simply is not an option um, in the open source world of the Open Steno project for a stenographic system for the German language. 
what does it actually mean? Why is it language specific? Well, even uh, the Steno uh, world changed a lot and now everything is automated, uh, you're still producing Steno codes by typing. Um, uh, whatever system you use, regardless of what machine, uh, you're using several fingers to put in several keys at once. So instead of a single keystroke, now you're typing in whole chords up to, well, if you want, 10 uh, keys at once. And of course, the information density of such a chord is bigger. And instead of typing letters, you can type whole words just in one chord, which isn't a stroke, right? It's, it's more than that. Uh, still, this translation of the Steno code that you just typed um, still must happen. There's, there's still this process of translating Steno code to real world text. And even though this is automated, this is done by the means of a dictionary. And there exist dictionaries according to different systems uh, for the English language, but not for the German language. So this is why I came up with my design for a stenographic system uh, for German language. And I had to think about what kind of standard codes I want to produce, according to what criteria uh, I, I going to type chords to produce German language for millions of words in the spoken German um, language. And I had to decide what machine. Regarding those codes, you can just go on parlantype.com, uh, click through the tutorials, and you get an idea of what I came up with. Regarding the Steno machine, as a part of the Open Steno project, there's also Parlantype. Parlantype used to be a commercial Steno machine. You see, it's basically just a keyboard with additional keys for your thumb. And luckily, due to modern inventions, keyboards that make use of your thumb exist. I have two of them here. One is the Ergodox and one is the Atreus. I made a whole video on the topic, but that means you don't have to deal with those awkward steno machines. You just get your hands on one of those uh, modern style keyboards, which are great uh, regardless if you want to type steno or not. And with this idea, a Palant type style system where you use um, some sort of keyboard that employs your thumb, um, with a custom system for steno codes for the German language, this is what is what you find on palantype.com, palantype.de. All right, I had to design a palantype style virtual keyboard and actually decide what kind of key go, go in there. And this uh, was a, a task of optimization and I still made uh, little tweaks until the last minute. I had to come up with an algorithm to translate um, an open source list of 2 million German words into Steno codes. And uh, I, I knew because I won't become a 100% full-time stenographer, I need some sort of system that makes it easier for me to actually get into typing. Because in the end, if you want to get up to those ridiculous speeds of 200 or 300 words per minute, every word that you ever type needs to be ingrained into your muscle memory, into the muscle memory of your fingers. This means a lot of practice and I knew I would need some sort of guidance. So I came up with my own system that introduces the rules to create standard codes step by step. All right, let me end this video by a big thank you to the, to the Open Standard Project. Not only they are the inspiration of this whole project, also Parlantype DE is simply a plugin for their software, which is called Plover. So I shamelessly made use of, um, of their software to be able to type quickly um, in my German system now and their documentation didn't only help me a great deal to get started They actually encourage you and help you to design your own system. 